Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Lumosity. Are you ready? Start training. It's space junk. You remember that one, right? It's the one that I played long, like two days ago. And... <laughs> I thought it was going to be unique. I didn't think it was going to show up here. Or else I wouldn't have played it then. Because that episode was supposed to be unique games. Oh well. I trust you know how to play it at least. Like that. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Correct guess. I'm... Aww. That totally doesn't look like 14. Alright. I know, I know if you count them. Let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, it's 14, but, that, aww, close, yeah, I tell you, there's nothing, there's not a better feeling than guessing right in this game, you know, I mean, guessing correctly, that's the best, that, aww, man, there just isn't a way to get a better feeling. Oh, come on. That's way off. Um, I, I just... Ah. No. Well, whatever. Kind of, It's kind of luck. It's kind of mostly skill, but... Yeah. That's an interesting tip, Beatrix. If you can count 15 before, from you know, like one frame of exposure, then good for you. Okay, it's all luck for me. I've been, I've been lucky in the past. It's worked for me, alright? On to the next game, Raindrops. This time I actually remember the keyboard. I've got a keyboard with a numpad so you don't have to wait for me five minutes. To go get one. I've got it right here, ready to go. Ah, uh, a little bit of math. It's just simple arithmetic. You can do it in your head, like quickly. But um, you do this enough though, and you just remember all the answers. You don't even you just typing it into the keyboard. That's really all that's going on here. I know these answers all by heart. I've seen every one of these equations at least twice. Probably more like five or eight times. I just remember them and type them in. It's not, it's kind of involuntary, actually. So I just see it and my hand gets to work typing it in. And my other hand is just sort of, uh,. Just sort of doing whatever it wants to do. It does. I only use one hand for this. So my right hand is like moving like fire all over this numpad. And my left hand is just sort of doing some kind of weird dance because I'm thinking about it right now. And it likes it when I think about it. It really likes that. So it's it's all it's moving everywhere. It's kind of d doing some kind of weird beating the drum beat or something making music right now of a sort you can't hear it unless the microphone's a lot more sensitive than I think it is yeah there we go Sun popped out all right, all right. yeah this is um this is one of my favorite games, actually. It's just some fun to just pop these raindrops. It's kind of intense. It's kind of a good workout. I don't know. Something about it I like. I'm not really sure. I've always liked math. Kind of weird. But this isn't really math. This is kind of just... Well... I'm not sure how exactly to explain it. It's just, you know... Whoops, whoops. I'm, I can't explain. Just don't ask, alright? I need to focus. And... No! 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 Ah. Uh, oh, it was close. See, I tried to hold out until the sun comes down. And I can pop it. And be fine. 
what I'm doing. I'm just right when it gets filled up like this, I just hold out until I can see the sun, and then all is good. So just a little bit more. Oh! Uh, this is not gonna. Work. This isn't good. This isn't looking good here. Nah, that's bad. That's bad score. Oh well. I did my best. As always. Speed match. A fast paced exercise. Speed match exercises your brain's ability to process information and thus improvise. Improv. Impro impro how do you spell it? How do you say that? Improves? That's, that's a word you use like once every week. You know, improves, improves. Uh, that's a difficult one there. A wide variety of cognitive skills. All the other ones, though, I use those every five seconds. Cognitive, you know, well, on a day where I'm reading a neuroscience article, maybe, and speaking it aloud. Okay. Speed match. Speedily matching. So, I really, uh, I've thought about this. You can't see what, what keys I'm pressing, but is that okay? I mean, you just think about what keys you would press, and that's all you need to know. You know, if you can, if you, like, watch the video in slow motion, if that's, if that's a possibility on YouTube one day, really, it should be, shouldn't it? YouTube should totally have a slow motion button. So you could watch this in slow motion and see which button I'm pressing based on which one I should press because you're watching in slow motion and you can make a conscious decision each time. See, I'm not making conscious decisions there because it takes, what, 350 milliseconds, I've read, to consciously interpret something and see it. Which means that everything that I'm saying, I said 350 milliseconds ago from my perspective. Okay? I fa- I- Whoa! I did that- I won that, but I didn't even- I thought I was not going to. Isn't that the best? When you think you're gonna fail and you actually win? That's the best feeling ever, huh? I think so. And I'm going to fail. This is totally wrong. Totally. Yes. Yes. That's the. Oh, wow. Wow. That feels good. Yeah, let's, let's see this again. All right. Oh, this can't be right. This, oh, that was totally. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Can you feel it? Can you, can you feel that? How that feels? It's good, isn't it? All right, I've, I've, I'm certain that it's this one. It's actually this one, okay? There we go. Don't glitch. Are you still recording? Good. Don't you stop recording now. All right, there's absolutely 100% no chance that it's this one. Oh, but it is. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so brilliant. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm certain that it's not this one, okay? Just, just, yes, yes. I know it was, though. And, alright, this, it's gonna go here and here and here and here. And there's no way that's gonna happen. Oh, oh, it did. Oh, big surprise. <laughs> Simple enough. No way anything could go wrong here, right? Nah, that doesn't feel as good. It really does feel better to assume it's going to go wrong and then get it right somehow. Like now. No way that's... Oh, man. I was actually, actually was not right in this case. That That's terrible. Alright, that really... That doesn't feel good. That Somehow that doesn't soften the blow. Maybe I could have. All right, this totally wrong. I re I mean, no. Okay, okay. 
Okay. I mean, I was actually I was actually guessing there a little bit. Fortunately, my guesses are almost always right. Like this one is totally correct. Yes, yes, I'm I. Yes, I knew that. I knew that. I I totally. All right. Um. No, it's this one. It's either. Okay. See, sometimes I have. I'll just this, but there's another option I'm thinking about. I'll just show you that. Okay. Okay. It's totally not here, is it? I I messed up. It's wrong. That's wrong. There's no way that could have happened. There's absolutely no way that was possible. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, what else is new, right? What a strange expression, though. Because nothing... Ow. See, there's no way that could have happened, either. Yeah. Pinball recall. 18 greenness points. Yay. No, that's... I'm happy. That's good. That's good. Alright, Eagle Eye. A visual attention game that can help you more quickly and accurately perceive elements of your surrounding environment. Environment. Don't forget that silent N. Don't forget to pronounce it. Is it silent, though? It's kind of muffled, but it's still there. Have I played this one before? It's kind of like bird watching, except there are numbers to keep track of instead of letters. And there's no guessing of bird names in the end. It just tells you what bird this picture is of. It's all about the visual acuity here. Just getting the correct number, which I almost never miss. Bohemian Waxwings, what that was. And uh, getting the clicker, the cursor and clicking as close to the bird center as possible, the blue dot. Correctly, ah! That wasn't seven inches though. Correctly doing it results in an eagle eye with some bonus points. Getting farther away. Of course, it loses a significant amount. Like that. That's that's a bad that's a bad hit there. Not good. A little gall. Ah. Okay. Getting it within that first circle, even if just barely. It's always a good idea. It's, it, it's a good score. You can get a good score with that. No! That's not 20 inches. Tell me that... Not even in the picture would that be 20 inches, okay? Seriously, now. What? Well, at least it told me where it was, huh? Not that I didn't know. It's just... Oh, I just missed. I've captured all the birds. Not this time, but in the past. Yes, these are all the ones I have captured over my long um, voyage of capturing birds. Or really taking pictures of them. I don't know why it says capturing. Alright. I guess capturing them in film, huh? Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Well, this is another day finished. Day 24 of our series. What is that, like the 11th episode? No, it's the 12th, right? The 12th one. Alright, well thanks for watching the 12th episode of Lumosity by me. My playthrough of these games, if you can call them that. They do. They're games for your brain. For, for your brain to improve itself. Hopefully you feel a better person with more brain cells today. Alright then. This is the end, in case you hadn't noticed yet. Goodbye.